uh, it would be a parallel element, right? Because, you know, you just, it would be basically like a cross that connects at its center, but it would be, you could, you could draw blue lines that connect the two rigid bodies uh, directly and fill their entire space. So that would be a parallel element. Um, but this one's a serial element because there's no blue lines because they have different angle. You can't draw a blue line to connect them. And, and if, you, if you thought of this as like the pseudo-rigid thing and you, you, you broke it into a schematic, it would be a rectangle, you know, spring, spring, rectangle, spring, spring, rectangle. So this would, this would be a serial system. And so, so because we shrink this to a line, um, it's a serial element. Okay. Um, okay. So this is this is a design. You know, like I said, one of the holy grails of um, flexure design is getting a, a flexure that just moves with x, y, and z translation with no rotation or screws or anything. And it's 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 one of the freedom spaces that we talked about that doesn't have a constraint space in the parallel pyramid. So it's got to be done with serial or hybrid systems or elements. This one, you know, if you go back, you know, you might. Uh, so if you take this element here and you actually cut off this bottom part and just stick the, the ground on there, you'll, you'll note it, it doesn't change it, by the way. It's, it still has this, this constraint space. And you can go back and check me here and make sure I'm telling you the truth here. But if you cut this off and add a, add a, a ground there, um, this would still achieve a moment. So that, that's essentially what we're doing here, um, and except we're poking holes in it. Okay. Um, to, to get mass away. But, but let's pretend we didn't. Let's pretend this was just filled in, that was filled in, and this was all filled in. You could still take these, make it in a nice flat sheet, put bends there and there to get something that looks like this shape, um, and, then, and then assemble it. And each of these would get a moment going in a direction that's uh, perpendicular to this plane. Right, and if you put them then axisymmetric, you'll get a sphere of moments in parallel, which will which will get your your translation. So it, so it's very clever. Um, there are some other tricks in here, and by the way, this would be a hybrid system whether these were serial or not serial elements. But by by adding these holes here, by cutting these out, we actually turn this. I wouldn't consider this a serial element anymore because it's we've now cut holes in it, and you it would be a hybrid element. Okay, so. Without it, if it was all filled in, it would be a serial element, um, like I, I presented earlier. But because we've poked the holes in it, you'd have to break it into intermediate uh, parts, and it, they'd be combined in, in hybrid and interconnected hybrid ways, actually. So, um, right, so, so, so the, the, these are actually interconnected hybrid elements. Uh, now, once you poke the holes in it, but uh, another interesting thing is, it, but but but, and of course, by the way, they have the same constraint characteristic, so it works. And and why would you want to get rid of the mass? Well, because you're always trying to get rid of mass in flexures. Square root k over m. The smaller the m is, the higher the natural frequency. That's that's going to be good. Um, and, and also, if there's under constraint in the element, because there actually is mass, even though you don't have intermediate bodies, um, they can start behaving as if they're under constrained and have uh, mode shapes, flapping mode shapes that are an issue. So getting rid of mass is a, generally a good idea. Another trick here is we have this little tab that we bent down 90 degrees because when you bend, when you put a crease in something, you actually put stiffness in it. And you know that, that's a fancy way to make this behave as if it's a rigid stage, even though it's really not. Um, you're just like bending some stiffness in it um, and, and stiffening that region as if it was a rigid, stiff stage, you know. And so, so that, that's, a, that's a trick to not have mass and yet stiffen things you want to be stiff. Um, and so th this is kind of a cool flexure that achieves X, Y, and Z translation. Okay, I'm going to take just a quick break here.